Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca and today we are talking my favorite 10 products from the drugstore. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you're well. I hope you found me because you're just like, that girl looks like fun. I'm going to subscribe. So I think I said this is my favorite product from 10 drugstore brands. There you go. Jen Phelps, I believe started this, but maybe she didn't, but <laughs> what I, my inspiration is from drugstore Maven who got it from uh, Jen Phelps. Okay. So I'll list their videos below because I follow them. I love their content. This is fun, you guys, and kind of hard. It's a little Sophie's choice. You know, it's a little bit like, oh no, that's terrible. We should not use that reference anymore. I mean, it's a movie. It's just awful. Ugh. So let us begin. L'Oreal. Um, Lash Paradise. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> I'll just cut to the punchline. This mascara is a discovery, well, I liked it when it first came out. It was like, oh, it's a dupe for Too Faced, better than sex. And then basically I watched Abby Young do her lash trick and she uses a Maybelline and the L'Oreal Lash Paradise together. And I kind of can't stop using this. I pair it with other mascaras, but honestly, in the end, what matters is that this stuff, if you like a thick, dramatic mascara that really coats the lashes. I put, I put like three coats on and I don't have a problem with it getting too clumpy. Um, I love that if my lashes, you know, when you have like allergies or something and you know, you're not supposed to, but you rub your eyes and then you get like lash breakage. So if you get kind of that missing spot that 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 little um, place on your lash line that it just looks like there's a gap this is so good for that and I do the blinky thing anyway I just I'm not wearing a lot of makeup today and I'll go through with what's on my face for you but I feel like my eyes because of the mascara it has it's just it's enough like I don't feel like I need anything more Maybelline. I think the last, the past 12 months, probably since last summer to this summer, my discovery and joy for Maybelline lipsticks has definitely improved and or increased over since, you know, four years ago or something like that. I discovered Maybelline, the, all the nude shades, and I love them. I love the formula. I love how they feel that they don't taste bad, that when they wear away, they're just pleasant. The shades that I'll just kind of share that are really popular for me, Naked Dare, and which one's this one? Nude Lust. They're creamy, they're kind of, they're not matte, they're not, they're not really, they're just kind of a good lipstick. And the Maybelline lip liners I've always raved about. They're so soft and smooth. They're the automatic lip liner and they have color families. So mauve, nude, pink, red. And um, so you can, you know, you can match them. I kind of mix them up, but this is the, what did I say? I already forgot. <laughs> this is Naked Dare. This is this sort of peachier shade, and then this is the Nude Lust. That's kind of the pinkier, paler shade. They just look so pretty, you know? It's just, it's that nude, it's nude. Anyway, CoverGirl. CoverGirl, oh my gosh, CoverGirl, you guys. I think since CoverGirl went cruelty-free, it has been so much fun just jumping into CoverGirl again. Also, they've reformulated, so stuff isn't kind of like the lipsticks don't dye your lips any, just, you know, like lipsticks in the, I wanna say the early 2000s or the 90s from CoverGirl, it felt like anything you were wearing, when it wore off, everything just kind of had this orange ring around your lips. Like no matter what shade you wore, that's what was left behind. Um, and they tasted super, soapy, 
the blush still smells like that. And I do love that blush. The mink blush is, I almost put that in here and then I had a different blush. So what I'm gonna go with is this Simply Ageless powder. The Simply Ageless line throughout is so good, whether you're dry skin, whether you're mature skin, this pressed powder. So I love all the powders. I love all of the compact. I love the Outlast. I love the Advanced Radiance CoverGirl powder. This one that they came out with this year is so amazing. It's expansive at Walgreens. I keep telling people, don't get it at Walgreens or get it, get it with coupons or find it at Target because it's such a crazy price thing. I am wearing this as foundation today. I am wearing this as powder foundation today. Jen Phelps said she does this and I thought I'm going to give it a try. And sure enough, it's beautiful. I thought, oh, is it going to be too pink? Cause it was starting to look a little bit pink and more porcelain. This is shade classic ivory 210. I just put it on with a puff and I kind of buffed it as well. I'm, I'm shocked. It's perfect. I can't believe how smooth <laughs> and blurred and how great I've only used this as a setting or a finishing powder and oh, wow. Wow. So exciting, exciting. So let me know if you've tried that. That was hard, you know, Revlon. Revlon's hard too, because I actually don't have a lot of Revlon. Um, or I should say, I don't focus on Revlon often. Uh, it, it, yeah. So, <laughs> um, so I think what would be fair to say of, uh, favorites are the, uh, the cream shadows, the, the pots. And I talked about these, or I did a video. What did I, I feel like I'm like, these are familiar. Why are they familiar? Uh, but I do enjoy these and they have a really good, they're the color stay. Uh, cream shadows. This is creme brulee and they do such a nice job. You can wear them alone. You can use them as an eyeshadow base. You can blend them. I did the black, which someone told me is <laughs> unavailable. So I have a feeling maybe if it's not on a website somewhere, you might just find it in a store. This is the shade tuxedo and it's basically <laughs> It's a matte black and it was kind of fun. And um, yeah, because if you put on a shadow on top of that, it makes such a duochrome, multi-chrome. Also, Revlon makes right now those new shadows that have like the texture and they're so pretty. They are super soft and smooth and I'm completely a fan of those and I couldn't find mine. They're in a, they're in a bin somewhere. <laughs> An honorable mention Revlon product, the skin lights. Everyone loves these <laughs> and I need to find some more shades because I have the bronzer. This is 115 Sunkissed Beam. Yeah. And I, I mean, I, it is pretty. Oh my gosh. I still have black. Yeah, the, the thing about the popularity of this bronzer is how soft, the soft sheen it has. Very Amelia, very, so, so soft. Um, in fact, I'm wearing the lip bar right now and it's a soft sheen and I feel like this is even softer. So there's highlight, there's bronzer. I think if you were a darker complexion, you could wear this like a highlighter. Um, anyway, yeah. So this is pretty. This is definitely a Revlon alternate honorable mention. So Physicians Formula, Physicians Formula, I love them, but there's, you know, they, we kind of have this love hate. Like we'll be like, oh my God, this is so great from Physicians Formula. It's drugstore, it's this, it's that. Ugh, they only have three shades, you know? So they're, they're kind of, not always doing it with the shades. Sometimes they're really overpriced, but there's a few items that they come out with that are so good. And they have some of the mainstays, I will say, of the drugstore 
makeup scene, the cornerstone, if you will. So any physician's bronzer, I gotta say, is tops. So this one I pulled out just because for yeah, nostalgia's sake. Uh, this is one of the, this is the bronze booster, light to medium. So these definitely were all over the place. And you know, you, I mean, the, the, I feel like maybe Physicians Formula doesn't want to abandon this compact style, but I kind of wish they would because they don't fit very well in my drawer. I'd love if they were just a little more streamlined where the top was flush so that they could stack better. Um, so the bronzers, you know, you've got your Muru Muru, now they have a matte. Uh, they're so pretty. This one, oh, it is soft. And this one is definitely more of a yellow golden undertone bronzer. Um, bronzers, you know, if, if you look at a bronzer and go, ooh, that's orange, that doesn't make it a bad bronzer. That just means it's not maybe for you because there are the bronzer undertones that are, are definitely different from person to person. So sometimes a bronzer can look really red and that's good for a darker skin or an olive skin. So anyhow, I'm just, yeah, I'm just speaking up for bronzers everywhere. But I'm just gonna keep doing this. This is just, I love this. You know what else this is so great? This has, does this have the SPF? A few of them have SPF and they're powders that have SPF. So yeah, Physician's Formula. I don't think that the Bronze Boosters ever had a scent. So if you don't like physicians for, Physician Formula's bronzers that are the, the Muru Muru, the ones that smell like coconut, I think the original formulas don't have that and they're good. So am I bronzed up enough? Like how much more can we go here? Maybe just right here. Yeah. Okay. okay. So. Elf. Oh, Elf. You guys, Elf is just, it's so, I, I love Elf. Elf is so good. How do I pick one? I mean, you've got your bite size shadows. You've got your powders. You've got, it's, uh, so what I picked, hydrating camo concealer. I, I just feel like this is a winner. I feel I've seen channels, makeup artists, channels, high end channel. Like I just feel like so many people use this concealer because it is so good for so many kinds of folks and skins and it has so many shades. So the original formula, I remember when that came out and I loved that because of its, um, I was like, oh wow, this is exciting. Tons of shades and look at the coverage. And then I was like, ugh, this isn't working so well with my creepy eyelids and it's too matte. And, but then this came along and I'm, I'm just so happy with it. And I have shade, I have several shades and this particular one is light peach. I kind of just bought a bunch to, you know, test. The light peach is good because it has, um, peach undertone. <laughs> it's, it's such a nice formula. You can use it anywhere on the face. It works well under the eye area. Even if you have very thin, very crepey lids, it works well set with powder, set it with the CoverGirl powder. You will love it. So it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful concealer. Flower Beauty is next and I feel like flower lipsticks are definitely my new just love this year. I, I've always loved them, but once I noticed some of the, the dupes for like the Charlotte Tilbury um, pillow talk and stuff like that, and I revisited them and I'm thinking, these are so good. And a lot, her powder, there's so much good flower beauty stuff. And I do want to mention the highlighter, the Trio, the Face Sculpting Palette, which I don't know where mine is. I, You know what I think I did is I think I have a bin somewhere of some favorite makeup or something because it's kind of funny that 
there's several products that are very, that I use and I'm like, where did I put them? So I think I kind of tried to declutter and clean and now I forgot where things went. So the contour face is such a good highlighter and then the lipsticks. The lipsticks come in a variety of finishes, so cream, satin, and matte. The matte is nice, but my preference is the cream. But because I'm wearing red, I decided I'd throw on this poppy pout, and we haven't gotten to this brand yet for Wet n Wild, but this is such a good pencil. There, are the it's the what is this particular gel liner? It's just the photo, perfect pout gel liner, and this is shade Red the Scene, and oh golly, it's good. Okay, this is such a good orangey red. My dress is kind of orangey red. It looks, it makes my entire makeup look kind of retreat back. So Flower Beauty, they're so good. Oh, and the bronzers, you know, oh, those bronzers are so good too. Okay, the next brand is Milani. Oh. That's another one. That's just another hard brand to pick a favorite because it's so good. There are so many Milani items I love. The blushes, the bronzers, the highlight, the, uh, you know. So I thought I would choose the Keep It Full lip gloss. This formula is one of the best. Oh, that reminds me of the Maybelline. I totally forgot about Maybelline Lifter Gloss, which I think Jen Phelps picked that for her Maybelline. Anyway, uh, forgot, oh yeah. Okay, so the Keep It Full Lip Glosses from Milani, these are fabulous. So my favorite shade is uh, Champagne, and this is your perfect glossy nude. Love the giant doe foot, I love the formula. It's just enough pigment and opacity without being thick or sticky or kind of too milky looking. You know what I mean? Milky in a bad way. And then this shade is Moonlight and it's got a bit of a opal. It's not as shifty glittery, but it's so pretty. So you can see how lovely those are. And now Essence. Oh, I love Essence. Essence is just, ah, oh, they're so good. I love them. I love how cheap they are. I love how fun they are and just how you, you, you use something and you're like, holy cow, how can this be this good and this $4? So I picked their blushes. It's the Essence The Blush is $2.99, $3.99. It's such a good formula. I. I can't not reach for these. I'm always this, you know, I'll be like, I'm gonna treat myself and buy a really, uh, you know, a, a fancy blush. And I just use these. So the shades I have, at least that I could find, this is one, this is called Bespoke. And you can see how it's a very kind of nutty shade. It works a bit if you wanted to use it for a bronzer, you kind of could, but it's also that lovely tawny shade because let's just face it, we don't always want blush to be pink. So I think this is beautiful. And then this shade is called Beloved and this is pink. And you can see how it's got just that classic, it's so pigmented. This is just, I don't know if you can tell on camera, how much it's coming up, but I just did one swipe and it just felt like oh, velvet. Yeah, and this is, so this is very much your, you know, that classic, classic pink, pink mauve shade. And then this shade is very interesting because I always think like, oh, did this one fade on the shelf? It's called Blooming, but I actually think it's supposed to be this pale. It's very pale. 
Um, it's a very weird, like, <laughs> like what is, it's very pale. So like if you need something so, so peachy pale, this is for you. But not only that is it, it does such a nice job over other blushes. Who was, I think it was Mandy Lee was using this over. If you feel like you've kind of gone to town with a blush, you can use this and it really just softens it out and it's so pretty. <sighs> wet and Wild. I love Wet and Wild. I love Wet and Wild. I love their lipsticks. I love the lip gloss. I love their mascara, like Wet and Wild. It's so good. The photo focus, the, the foundation, the stick foundation is so good. I went with, because one, I hadn't talked yet about, oh, back it up, back it up, <laughs> Kate the Great, back it up. I can't, I, I forgot about Princess Lash. <laughs> Essence, Princess Lash, you guys. And I think I like the purple one the best. I always forget. Sometimes I'll buy, when I'm buying new tubes of Princess Lash, I'll be like, green, pink, or purple? So I think, I think, think purple's my favorite. Honestly though, if you want cruelty free, less than $5, so many formulas, so good. This, Wet n Wild, I decided to share with you the micro brow. This brow is, I didn't think I would like something this much, this thin. The micro brow is very thin. It's got a spoolie, and the point is, ooh, I'm gonna have to buy a new one, <laughs> is so precise, it's not too dark, it's not too, you know how sometimes you have to like really sketch with a brow pencil? I don't have to work hard with this, it's a good tone for me. So I just, I kind of default to it. I've been using a lot of different brow products lately, I've been liking a lot of brow gels, and that one though just, I really enjoy it and yes. Okay, I wonder if Jen put this in a different, like a part two, or she forgot because she didn't include NYX. And I'm like, NYX Cosmetics is the queen of drugstore. It's the, it's the mecca of makeup that's affordable. <laughs> I thought what I would share is the jumbo eye crayons because these are so good. And I talked about them before and I'm like, you know what? I really like them. So let's pull them out. Yeah, so these are great. And if you, I think they make a sharpener that fits this because a few of you asked me about, well, wait a minute, are these the ones that push up? No, you need to sharpen these. Uh, a few of you asked me when I talked about the jumbo eye crayons, you're like, well, how do I sharpen it? So I think NYX makes sharpeners that are this size. I just love these a lot. Okay, so that is my 10 brands, my favorite items from those brands. I am going to do a part two because I came up with so many other favorites that I was like, not and from other brands that aren't even mentioned. So yeah, we're gonna do this again. Let me know what you, what your favorites are. And um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you have subscribed. If you haven't, just do it. Okay, thanks. And <laughs> uh, take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.